This video is to show the unposted leave and premium pay report. This report is really important because it identifies those employees that have approved leave or premium pay that has not been posted to the timesheet. This happens when the leave or premium pay is approved after the timesheet was already processed on timesheet Friday. So it's really important to be able to run this report to identify those employees so that corrections can be opened and the leave or premium pay can be posted onto that corrected timesheet. So from your menu, you want to click on the report server. Now when you click on that, it's going to bring you to a login page and you're just gonna log in exactly the same way you log into Vetas with just your email address and the exact same password that you use to get into Vetas. Once you're in there, you're gonna click on the reports link and it's not gonna look exactly the same as, as my training database does, but what you're gonna to wanna to look for is a report that says unposted leave slash premium pay requests. So once you click on this, you're gonna get a report, and this is, this is what it looks like. You can choose which pay periods you wanna run this report for. You can go back a year, you can go back as far as when your station converted to VATAS, but what you wanna, to keep in mind is that you don't want to run more than 10 pay periods at a time, otherwise the report will take an extremely long time to, to generate. But once you decide which pay period, I'm going to go ahead and just select pay period 21 to run from pay period 21 to pay period 26. You can also narrow it down if you'd like. If maybe you only want to run it for one particular TNL, you can you can select that. If you leave everything blank, it's going to run the report for your entire station. But it does identify on the report which TNLs the, um, the employees belong to. Now you have a couple options. You can just select run report, the run report button, and that's just going to run it in a, a text format. Or if you'd like, you can also come over here and choose the Excel button, and that will run the report in an Excel format. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Excel. And VATAS is letting me know that my re report request has been scheduled to run immediately in the background and that when it's complete, the results are going to appear on the My Saved and Scheduled Reports page. So if I go back to Reports and I click on My Saved and Scheduled Reports, you can see the report. Right now it's still generating. So that's why I said that the, the more pay periods that you have, the longer that it may take to, to generate. So I'm just going to click back out. And I'm going to click back in. It's still generating. You just try one more time. Okay, now it's complete. So once it says complete, then you'll be able to download it. So you're just going to click the download button. You get this little pop-up at the bottom. It's going to ask you if you want to open or save it. I'm just going to go ahead and open it. And because I selected Excel, again, it's going to show it to me in an Excel format. Just going to just take a second here to open. And then it identifies the employees, it identifies their TNL unit, and it identifies which pay period the leave or premium pay is for, and it specifically even identifies which type of leave or premium pay. So once you get this report, if you see people on it, you're going to want to go back. I have one person in pay period 21, and then a couple people in pay period 21 and one person in pay period 23. So as a timekeeper, you're going to want to make sure to open up corrected timesheets for these employees and make sure to post this leave or premium pay that needs to be posted on there. So then once you have your Excel spreadsheet, you can save it, do whatever you, you know, want with that, with that data. And then you're going to want to come back here and make sure that you delete this report that you ran. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to delete this report? You're going to go ahead and say yes. And then you're, you are done with your unscheduled leave and premium pay report. Thank you for joining me in this video.